Well, good morning on this Monday. We're starting off with some wintry weather yet again today. More snow and it's causing some issues out on the roads and we've been tracking that for you all morning long and we'll continue to do so. This is our view right now uh, toward 32nd Avenue South here. Uh, not too many vehicles traveling on the road right now in the distance I-29. This is in South Fargo at Luther Family Ford and you can see the vehicles in the lot there at the bottom of your screen snow covered. So if you park outside, you're going to need to get out that snow brush and get that car started a little sooner. So bottom line today, snowy. We're going to be seeing off and on scattered snow showers all day long with some uh, issues on the road. So of course we've got some hazard lights for you here to be prepared for that. You want to give yourself lots of time to get to where you need to be. Lay off the cruise control, of course, and just remember all of those winter weather driving skills and remember your gear too. You're going to need the hat and gloves and coat and, and snow boots here for today. Here's a look at another view in the valley. This is uh, 8th Street and Main Avenue in Moorhead. You can see the Moorhead DQ there and it is looking pretty snowy here. You can see the tire tracks in the intersection and you know crews are out working but uh, we are seeing some snow still coming down and so that just adds to it and we get the road clear off and the next thing you know it's snowy again in some of these spots. Similar situation in the Northern Valley. This is our view around Thief River Falls along Highway 59. You can see some snow on the road there as that vehicle's uh, traveling to where uh, that person needs to be. Here's a look at our visibility. So again, snow on the ground, but also snow in the air, and that's going to reduce your visibility for a time here. We're looking at some places that have gotten as low as about a mile for visibility. Uh, and right now we're ranging between one and two miles in Fergus Falls and back over to Wadena. So that's where we've got some of our lower visibility reports coming in. Fargo's at two miles. This is a good sign of where we have the more intense snow showers moving through because the, we don't really have the wind to bring down the visibility that much. This is purely based on the snowfall uh, that's coming down. So we're looking at three miles in Grand Forks and Grafton and Hallock at three miles as well. Some places are doing okay. We're at seven in Cooperstown, not too bad, but still getting some snow there. So let's take a look at your radar and satellite map. We've got the heavier snowfall south and east of us, but we're still getting some of these snow showers this morning and we'll still see that potential for that to continue off and on throughout the day and so it's easier for that radar to detect closer to this the Ra Mayville radar site there and you can see that we've got some good snow around Hillsboro and the north and west of the Fargo Moorhead area as well. Here's that wind not a problem at all. We're looking at wind speeds 10 miles per hour or less just a slight breeze coming in out of the east and some of us reporting calm conditions right now. Temperatures are below freezing so cool chilly you're going to want the winter gear here and we're looking at temperatures mainly in the 20s along and east of the Red River, 21 in Fargo, 22 in Grand Forks, some teens to the west, our coldest number, 12 in Oaks right now. So your hour by hour planner, get used to this kind of view here. We're looking at clouds, gray skies throughout the valley, and then that potential for some of these spotty areas of snow popping up through the morning. This is the noon hour, heading into the four o'clock hour, still seeing this, so stepping off the bus, kids will be running into more flakes. Might be a good day to maybe Build a snowman once the kids get home this afternoon. And uh, we're also seeing that chance for some snow that will be continuing on into tonight. It's not a lot, so it'll be a, a little snowman, but still the potential's there for that to build up over time today and into the rest of the week this week too. Look at these uh, days ahead. We've got chances for snow, light snow, but still chances for snow each day and much colder temperatures. Looking at some teens for highs, not just teens, but look at Friday. 11. So there will be some places that don't rise above the single digits on some of these days. Snow, snow, snow. Let it snow, let it snow. Yes. It's and happening whether or not, when not you want to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, and we've been talking about it all morning. At least it's pretty. It's yes. nice mm -hmm. to look at your window at. Yeah. Not so nice to be out in, but yeah. it's yeah. pretty. It is. Okay, Lisa, thank you.